What's going on everyone? It's Sean from All Things EV, and this video is a continuation of a recent video I did about Tesla's Roadrunner project. And I'd highly recommend watching that one first if you haven't seen it. It provides a good framework for what I'm about to talk about, which is why Tesla acquired a really small battery company out of Broomfield, Colorado, which is right down the road from me. And I wanna talk about its significance and why I think Tesla purchased it. So let's go ahead and jump in. I've known about Celion since early February, but haven't felt comfortable saying anything about it. Now that Tesla's Roadrunner project is becoming more publicly known, I'm ready to share a few more details that I've been marinating on. And when Elon Musk tweeted back on June 11th about the significance of the lithium ion battery and where the focus should be by stating what matters is cathode and anode material. There are many choices, but nickel cathode and carbon silicon anode works great. It reminded me of some of the information that I learned about Celion earlier this year. Celion's fundamental design point is to enable these high energy lithium ion chemistries using processes that seamlessly integrate into the existing manufacturing infrastructure. Their key technology appears to be around energy density and cost reduction. If this sounds familiar, you're correct because about a year ago, Elon Musk, Drew Baglino, and J.B. Straubel talked about the importance of reducing the cost of battery cell production, as well as increasing the energy density in those batteries. Um, they're actually really smart questions. i um, been really impressed with the, I think it's a say.com say or say, something. Um, say anything, um, and uh, yeah. So this is a this is a key question: is we've got to scale battery production um, and match that to uh, vehicle demand. Do you guys want to say anything about that? Or we don't let the cat out of the bag too much, but you know, still in the bag. I mean, I, I think it's right on. I mean, those are. Yeah exactly the right problems that we need to solve to scale and they have they have been for some time but it's more obvious now than I think it ever was that uh, we, we need a large scale solution to cell production yes and get the cost per kilowatt hour lower and energy density higher yeah and, and, <laughs> and we're not sitting yeah we're not sitting idly by we're taking all the moves required to be masters of our own destiny here uh, technologically and otherwise and I, I think you know through through all the uh, Experience we've developed with partners and otherwise, uh, we, we have a we will we have solutions in place. Yeah. <laughs> Good question. Uh, what aspects of battery production will integration Maxwell Maxwell have? Um, we think this is really quite strategic, um, but we'll, we'll leave the details of this to um, kind of the battery and powertrain investor day. Um, this is. Uh, there's some very important technologies there that I think will have a, a big effect on the cost and, and scaling of cell production, uh, both reducing the, the cost and reducing the capital required to scale uh, cell production. The company was founded by three people who have direct ties to University of Boulder, Dr. Daniela Molina Piper, Dr. Tyler Evans, and Dr. Sehi Lee. Dr. Sehi Lee is actually a professor at the University of Boulder. When I take a look at Sehi Lee's LinkedIn profile, I don't see any mention of Celion. However, it does look like he has gone to co-found Solid Power, which is also in the same area, focusing on solid state batteries. Both Dr. Piper and Evans indicate that they still work for Celion, but I would expect for both of them to update their LinkedIn profiles here within the next three to six months, indicating that they now work for Tesla. When I found out about this company in early February, I was sent a synopsis that Celion created, and there are some really interesting takeaways that indicate why Tesla may have been interested in this company. It says the Celion team members have become experts in cell design around high loading silicon anodes, and this has proven very valuable. Celion can integrate a wide range of silicon materials into its anode to adapt to performance needs. And this also allows the Celion cell design to realize the improvements that will arise due to new material introduction into the lithium ion industry. The company is now manufacturing 2.5 amp hour prototypes capable of achieving greater than 300 watt hours 
dollars per kilogram. A prerequisite step to ensuring that Celion's technology is inserted successfully into the markets. Celion's cell technology through utilization of lower cost materials and manufacturing capabilities will be 30% less expensive than state-of-the-art lithium ion cells. So why was Tesla interested in acquiring Celion? I think it's because that their early prototypes show greater than 300 watt hours per kilogram and a cost reduction more than 30%. If Tesla can successfully integrate Celion's technology with Maxwell's technology, we could see as Elon Musk hinted at some mind-blowing innovations around battery tech. My only pause is that are these companies ready to rock and roll with full-scale production? Or do they need more research? Should these technologies be sent to Jeff Don's research facility in Halifax for further proving? I think we'll learn a lot more about how Tesla plans to integrate these companies that they've acquired over the last couple of years when we attend the battery slash shareholder day as of right now, September 15th. Tesla may or may not mention some of the companies that they've acquired over the last several years, but key into some of the buzzwords that myself and some other content creators on YouTube have talked a lot about around dry battery electrodes and silicon anodes. There's one more thing I wanted to mention about Tesla integrating Celion's technology into their cell manufacturing process. I think that Tesla will use Celion's base in the Boulder area as an incubation and development hub for future talent coming out of battery research and battery technology. As my buddy Gally mentioned in a video back in February, the University of Boulder is putting out some incredibly talented people around battery technology and battery chemistry. It makes sense for Tesla to have an incubation hub around that to continue to further and advance their lead in battery tech. That wraps up this video. Thanks so much for watching. What are your thoughts about Celion and their technology? Do you think we'll hear a little bit more about it in this upcoming battery day? Sound off in the comments down below. A huge shout out and thanks to Patreon supporters. Thanks for funding the channel. I'll catch everyone on the next video.